Discover solutions to issues that affect your family and professional life with practical information to help you get past life's adversities. Take a proactive approach to power up your life with Rosalie's expert resources. Secure and soothing are two factors that will keep us feeling confident to get through the holiday season. But we can always use some help from a professional, like our friend Jennifer Jolly, Emmy Award winner and consumer technology journalist who loves her techie gadgets and doodads because she spends most of her time tinkering and testing so we can all benefit from the results. Jennifer joins us this morning to reveal her smart, secure, soothing, and super selects for the holiday. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. Kids want fun gifts, and parents like smart gifts. So what gifts are both fun and smart for children? Well, take a look right here at LeapFrog's brand new Leap Start. This is both smart and fun. In fact, it's a high-tech toy that really blends a perfect balance of education and fun with an interactive learning system, a super smart stylus to get kids excited about everything from counting to problem solving with engaging questions, challenges, songs, jokes, absolutely great way to teach both life and school skills. Plus it comes in two versions, one for preschool through pre-K and then another for kindergarten through first grade. Excellent. So how about a smart and safe gift for our home? Yeah, well, one of the, the best ways to really put your mind at ease is to know that no one can get into your home unless you want them to. And for that, there's this August Smart Lock, a smart keypad, and doorbell camera. These all work together by turning your smartphone into a mobile command center for your front door that you control with uh, your mobile device. And you actually can have access to your home anywhere in the world from your mobile device you can even assign virtual keys or key codes and then really control uh, who comes and goes and when. Perfect. But how about the stress during the holidays? It is abundant. So what can you suggest to help us take the time to soothe ourselves in times of stress? There's an absolutely genius wearable gadget called Spire that's uh, maybe single mission in life is to just get you to chill out. So, you know, tons of gadgets uh, track your steps, but this Spire gadget, it's a small clip-on that really measures your breathing patterns so that it can tell when you're calm, tense, or focused, and then it sends all that information to an app on your mobile device, and it gives you breathing exercises. It says, hey, breathe deeply and calmly, or you can uh, choose some guided meditations to really get you to relax and focus. Uh, Spire acts like a regular activity tracker too, so it knows when you're up and moving, and then it sends all that data back to your mobile phone, compatible with iOS and Android. It is just a fabulous way to track all the information and help you relax. It's absolutely brilliant. What do you have to help us chill while watching some super monitor display? Like my husband always loves, bigger viewing is better. Oh, that's right, and, and smarter. Take a look at this gorgeous screen right next to me. This is LG. It is LG's 38-inch ultra-wide curved monitor. It's a, just a beautiful device for gamers, graphic artists, movie lovers, anyone who really appreciates stellar picture quality. It's the world's largest 21 to 9 ultra-wide monitor with four times the resolution of basic high def. So when you have a curved design like this, it really adds screen real estate so that you can multitask with more programs open at once, do some really high-end editing, you can game, you can uh, mix sound. I mean, th this brings the world at your fingertips in a, in a way that you just, ha we really haven't experienced before. Game with more magic, watch with more awe. That is LG's 38 inch ultra wide curved monitor. And for those who like a good fight, <laughs> well, there are a lot of wrestling fans, and if you want to give the ultimate smackdown of awesome gifts, this is the WWE Slam Crate. It's a mystery box filled with goodies handpicked for fans of the WWE Universe. So every single box is, box is packed with collectibles and apparel that you just can't get 
anywhere else, like an authentic tee worn by a WWE superstar during a live event. Check that out, bada boom. It's so, so cool. And these are delivered every other month, so it's really the gift that keeps on giving. So truly, it makes you a champion all the way around. Most of us love receiving holiday gifts from friends and family from out of town. But one of the things that we have to keep in mind is how to protect ourselves from porch pirates. We hear about it all the time. Thieves follow delivery men around and will take that package before you even get a chance to know it was delivered. So for that, there is a genius new device called Package Guard. It's, it's truly the hero of your holidays, a, a new hero in town. It sits right outside your front door, connects to your home Wi-Fi and to an app on your mobile device. So the second that you get a delivery, Package Guard sends you a notification. If someone tries to steal it, it also sends you an alert to your mobile device and sounds an ear piercing alarm. So that's a good deterrent right there to uh, ward off those pesky porch pirates. But also when you get home, all you have to do is tap an app on your smartphone and pick your package up and go right into your house. I, I love when technology comes up with something so simple yet so profound in solving such a big problem. And during the holiday season, we all need to take extra precautions to stay safe. Exactly, exactly. All right, Jen, so where can our viewers find all these great gifts and more information? Well, for these selects, you can go to thunknews.com selects. Thanks, Jennifer, for joining us this morning and sharing your smart, secure, and soothing super selects for holiday giving. Happy holidays, my friend. Happy holidays to you. It is always my pleasure to be with you. Thank you for having me. For parents, it can be a challenge to choose the games, books, tech, and toys that strike a perfect balance between fun and learning. Building the excitement to inspire your child to discover, learn, and entertain will bring joy to the kids as well as the parents this holiday season. Joining us this morning is founder of Reality Moms and mother of two, Joey Fortman, to share her expert tips for a few of her best holiday gift ideas to inspire, educate, and entertain kids of all ages. Good morning, Joey. Hi, Rose Lee. Well, nothing says holidays more than family game night, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So these Headbands Electronic Games by Spin Master, it's a fast, team-based version of the question game called Where Am I? And here's how it works. You, the players put on the headbands and, and, and everyone else has to identify who or what they are. There are three ways to play it. You can ask your team yes or no questions. You can describe what you are and you can even act it out. All the work is done for you with the electronic host. The host directs the game, takes the time, and keeps the score. It's so much fun. Grab two or more players, you're gonna laugh all night. <laughs> Sounds like a great fun time. All right, so what's a new and creative magical way to help kids have fun so they love to read? Well, reading is important in my house, but screen time is, is sometimes the problem. But I have a solution for both of those. The really fun friends that I have from Lost My Name, they have these magical gifts and adorable books. They're customized for your kids. You create it online, and these children books come personalized. There's illustrations. You put in where they're from, and it's just like it's their book. Kids love it. How about learning tools to increase a child's vocabulary? The one in my house that we all love is the Kindle for Kids bundle by Amazon. It inspires kids to use the tablet for reading. Problem solved, right? The, the latest e-reader comes without sponsored screensavers, and moms love it. I love it because there's a cover on it to protect it and a two-year warranty. The Kindle Free Time, it's an app on there. Check it out. It sets goals, it tracks progress for your kids, and also a couple other tools you want to you see, WordWise and Vocabulary Builder. And apps to teach little ones. The Kindle for Kids bundle by Amazon, there are tons of apps on there as well. How about the toddlers in your family who love playing with cars? You have to check out this for toddlers. It's called Go Grippers Bounce and Zoom Speedway by Oval. Seriously, the most imaginative way I've ever seen toddlers play with cars. Cars bounce and zoom down ramps. It gets lifted by a giant claw. And what's fun about it for the kids is that it's important that they can play with it forever. There are geometric holes 
perfect to lift them up and very hard to put them back down because you know they don't want to. Hours of interactive play, you can pick it up at Toys R Us. We can all remember Teletubbies, but I hear that Teletubbies have gone tacky. They're the most successful global brand of all time, and it helps social development for kids. Those teachable moments, moms, like caring for each other. This here, Rosalie, the lullaby Lala, it's exclusive at Toys R Us. I love it because I go in my kids' room and I snuggle up with them and we listen to lullabies and lights on the ceiling. It's so fun. Hey, do you want to talk about, remember LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow? The Skyberry Family Library. It is so awesome. There's over 600 curated books and 250 educational video field trips. Too much fun. It brings comprehension and intellectual engagement into the digital world. There are multi-platforms to choose from, and it's a subscription-based service. And by the way, if you pick it up now between the end of the year, they're going to donate one to Reading It's Fundamental. All right, Joey, you zoom through all these wonderful gifts. So where can our viewers find more information on all these smart kid gifts? I know, there are so many things to do with these products. You can find out more at thumpnews.com slash inspired. Thanks, Joey, for joining us this morning and sharing your tips to find the best holiday gifts to inspire, educate, and entertain kids of all ages. Happy holidays, Joey, to you and your family. You too. <laughs>
Also, um, as Dr. Natalie said, to cut off the electronics, the TV, the cell phone, the computer, have that turned off at least maybe like an hour or so before bed, which isn't always easy to do, but it definitely brings my mind more uh, relaxed and clear so that I can go to sleep. All right, so what is it that you do, Valencia, to help yourself prepare for sleep? Well, the electronics, absolutely. I shut them down about an hour or so before bed. Um, I also make sure I allocate a certain time in the middle of my day to make sure I'm on track to get everything done so that at the end of the day, I'm not worried about anything that I have to do or anything that I need to do for the day coming ahead. Um, I also just turned off all the lights, make sure it's really dark in my room, and I lower the temperature to make sure it's nice and cool so that I'm not getting up in the middle of the night um, because I'm too hot or too cold or anything. So doctor, why is it so important to keep trying different sleep tips or techniques? Well, for many people, difficulty sleeping isn't something that just started yesterday. So it can take some time trying different approaches to find something that worked. Also, our sleep is a complex process. Social factors, emotional, physical factors contribute. So it's worth trying a variety of approaches until you find something that works. And to keep in mind that you may not see changes overnight, but definitely you can make changes towards better sleep. Due to work schedules and family responsibilities, some people can exercise early in the morning. and Others need to work it at the end of the day, possibly late at night, as I do. Will that affect your sleep? So typically exercising earlier in the day is recommended, but there can be individual differences. So it's really trying it out to see what works for you. Doctor, leave our viewers with some quick sleep tips. Well, I think generally just to recognize that good sleep at night starts by our behaviors during the day. So even from when we first wake up, can that activities we engage in can have an impact on our sleep at night and going to beyondtired.org and also the sleepfoundation.org, you can get more information about, how, information about how you can enhance your sleep. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. Dudovich and Valencia for sharing helpful sleep tips to relieve the stress of living with insomnia. Thank you. Thank you. We all work hard towards attaining financial stability, at least making a solid living wage, saving for the future, hopefully even owning a home or starting a business and devoting countless hours to gain financial success in life. Unfortunately, those dreams seem out of reach for many Americans. No matter your current financial situation, there is hope for your future. Joining us this morning with tips for gaining control of your finances is John Hope Bryant, the founder of Operation Hope, a financial educational nonprofit, and Brad Dinsmore, head of consumer banking at SunTrust. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, Rose. Hi, Rosalie. How are you? John, one in three families are classified as working poor and roughly 43 million people live below the poverty line in this country. Yet you say poverty isn't really about money. Define what you mean to our viewers. Yeah, well, your viewers would understand they've got too much month at the end of their money and they're stressed out. They'd understand that they're living from paycheck to paycheck, which is 70% of all Americans. And uh, uh, the reality is that uh, there's 138 million Americans who are financially stressed out. And that affects your morale, it affects your, where, frankly, your level of potential depression, whether you show up for work, whether you stay at work, whether you're focused on work when you're at work, uh, whether you can uh, have a healthy relationship. Uh, basically what I'm saying is that there's a difference between being broke and being poor. That, there's be that being broke is economic, but being poor is a disabling frame of mind and a depressing condition of your spirit, and you must vow never to be poor again and that you can't even do the interview you're doing with us right now without personal confidence and self-esteem. And you, you have this position that you're in now without even knowing your story, Rose, I know your story, because you saw a role model somewhere that was a woman doing this in broadcasting and said, I can do that, because that's all of our story. We're all role modeling. And, that, and so, so that's what I'm saying, is that, that poverty is numerically, by government standards, it's a number so they can count it. But other than that, it has nothing to do with money. And neither does wealth, by the way. 
It is about how you see the world and how you view yourself. We all have a story. Today, I'm a talk show host, but I started off as a teen mom of a son with disabilities who had to work harder and longer than other single moms by living many sleepless nights. And yes, as a young woman, I dreamed of being a Barbara Walters, a big anchor. Life took me on a different path. So I became an independent broadcast journalist who shares resources with her viewers to increase their quality of life. People have to, have to accept and truly believe that they are unique in the world and they have a contribution that they can make, that God made you special. And once you accept that and that you're special and unique and that your fingerprints are unique in the world, then you gotta figure out how to operationalize that. And part of that is acknowledging you're, you're special, but you're not perfect. You've made mistakes, but you're not a mistake. And one of them may be that you uh, had a car repossessed, or maybe you had a foreclosure, or maybe you had a divorce, or maybe you lost a job, but that's just a bump in the road. So then let's deal with the, let's, let's put, take the shame out of the conversation. Show up at a Hope Inside location, now at SunTrust, in 200 locations increasingly around this country, and sit and have a conversation with my financial coaches. Unpack the problems in your life. You think about this, nobody until now has given the average American a private banker, a resource for where they can go that's not charging them any money, not trying to sell them anything, not gaming them, to listen to their problems and help them repack the quality of their life and fulfill their dreams. And then you can walk across the hall to the bank and maybe get a loan to actually operationalize that dream. It's unprecedented. So Brad, accessible financial education is the key to making smart money decisions. So tell us, why is it not so hard to find these free resources as people may think? Well, Rosalie, it's getting easier, uh, but we want to make it even easier. Uh, we're, we're, SunTrust is a purpose-driven company. Our purpose is to light the way to financial well-being for consumers and for businesses. And earlier this year, we set a goal, a very public goal, that we're going to light the way for 5 million people to help them get from stress to confidence. That stress that you talked about earlier, those, those sleepless nights. We've had over 700,000 people join this movement to get more information, to figure out what, what about their circumstances that are unique. But they also realize that while their circumstances are unique, they're not alone. Because this problem, it's not, it's not isolated to the northern part of Florida, or the southern part of Florida. It's not isolated to a a neighborhood or, or a zip code. It's three out of four Americans. We have seven locations now. We're gonna help about 6,000 people this year with Operation Hope. By going to 200 over the next five years, our goal is to help 150,000 every year through Operation Hope, on top of the hundreds of thousands of people that we're helping online uh, through our onup.com. It's the way to join the movement. Uh, so this is all about creating scale and getting the information out there. Uh, you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to even be a, a client of SunTrust. Uh, our, our goal is to help people across the country. Uh, and by going to ONUP, you can join the movement and take the first step towards financial confidence. The most important lesson that we're learning as we listen to people who are experiencing the stress, that first step is the hardest one because many times people may feel ashamed or that they are uh, they're, uh, alone in, in this journey. Mm -hmm. And by joining the movement, they recognize that there are many people that are like, are like them and many people that need to reach out and, and get help. All right, so where can our viewers find more information? Three ways, three ways to do it. Uh, go to onup.com, suntrust.com, or operationhope.org. Uh, or go into any one of our uh, branches and, uh, and ask. Uh, we'll be happy to provide the information to you. Thank you, John and Brad, for joining us this morning with tips for our viewers to help them gain control of their finances to eradicate poverty. As John said, we all have a story. My disability advocacy story began in 1999 when Archer Disability Foundation presented its first Disability Mentoring Month celebration in the city of Boca Raton. 
Archer Disability Foundation grew this mentoring program through the Florida Governor's Alliance for the Employment of Persons with Disabilities, also known as the ABLE Trust. Each year, ADF receives a proclamation from Palm Beach County Board of County Commissioners, presented by long-term disability mentoring supporter, Commissioner Steve Abrams, former mayor of the city of Boca Raton. Whereas an estimated 3.2 million people in Florida have disabilities, and roughly one-fifth of our state's population lives daily with some form of physical or mental disability. I am a Palm Beach State College student, and graduating next May with a associate's degree, going into FAU next fall, and studying communication science. This year, the U.S. Department of Labor celebrates 70 years of contributions of workers with disabilities, and also a time to educate businesses to the value of a diverse workforce. This year's National Disability Employment Awareness Month theme is hashtag inclusion works. Rosalie Productions and Archer Disability Foundation teamed up and brought our crew up to Vero Beach to mentor a group of students transitioning out of high school from Indian River School District who are all being prepared to gain employment. My department is responsible for reviewing applications from people that are looking to find a job in this distribution center. We also focus on developing people. So when we bring employees in here, we also look at what type of talent we have and we try to look at what they're good at and we try to get them in areas to do the things that, they're, that they can do better than other people. Student job seekers had the opportunity to tour the CVS facility under the guidance of Ms. Donna, who introduced her guests to employees from equipment operators to facility management. CVS Pharmacy is currently the largest pharmacy chain in the United States with over 9,600 locations. Business partners like CVS here in Florida offer students and job seekers with disabilities an opportunity to discover the range of skills needed to gain employment in a variety of departments. Technology now offers safe and secure devices to decrease the stress level, mostly during the holiday seasons, to increase the sleep level, and also to offer a greater vision of more hope through hard work to celebrate optimal self-esteem and resolve to be our very best. Share with us your story to be your very best at facebook.com forward slash Rose Lee Show. And follow us on Instagram at The Rose Lee Show. And watch this episode and many others here at ION Television or 24-7 at rosalieartershow.com. Thanks for joining us this morning, and we look forward to you joining us again soon. Happy Holidays!